Well, Texas lawmakers have not prioritized establishing pre-K for all students this legislative session, but Fox 4 has learned about a provision in the school choice bill that would make millions of tax dollars in pre-K funding available for parents who plan to put their kids in private school. Fox 4's Lori Brown joins us now with a story. Lori. Heather, while kids who are in families that are low income qualify for free pre-K, the state does not provide any funding for kids to attend pre-K in middle income families. But that could change for some families under Senate Bill 8 if a family chooses private pre-K. For middle income families, going to pre-K in Texas, even at their public schools, will cost thousands of dollars. That's because the state only funds pre-K for children in low income families. But under Senate Bill 8, the state would provide $8,000 a year for a child to attend private school pre-K. See pre-K in our state fully funded and see our public schools fully funded before money starts uh, being given for other aspects of school choice. Louisville ISD Superintendent Dr. Lori Rapp told us the state has it backwards. To prioritize money that could go towards school choice before you fully fund your public schools that are setting up pre-K programs, that's it's not utilizing the money to the best benefit of students. In Louisville ISD, the tuition for 10 months of pre-K is $8,200. Under SB 8, parents could apply for $8,000 a year through an education savings account to pay for private school tuition and related expenses. Dr. Rapp says the options need to be expanded. If a parent is choosing a public school for their pre-K provider, then public schools should be able to receive the $8,000 that that family would have received. Some public schools have taken a novel approach, like Arlington ISD, offering free full-day pre-K for all four-year-olds. But Arlington supplements state funding for eligible students with money from its own budget for the other students. While SB8 clearly states a child entering pre-K would be eligible for the private school education savings account, Senator Brandon Creighton, who authored the bill, did not talk about that eligibility during the initial discussion on Wednesday. A young child in that that household coming into kindergarten can use That's the CSA. Homeschool families as well qualify for the CSA as long as it's a, a child going into kindergarten. A spokesperson for the senator confirmed with me by email that the bill does apply to students entering pre-K. Crystal Bernard started Braveheart Christian Academy in Arlington with her husband last year. Our students they're, they're excelling. She says SB8 would be transformative for pre-K through seven schools like hers. With this educational savings account, we could triple our student body. We could hire an additional seven to eight teachers and staff members. And again, we can give the kids actually what they need. Our students, they're, they're excelling. Senator Brian Creighton was not available to do an interview with us today about why under his bill the state would provide funding for private school pre-K before the state would offer funding for public school pre-K for all Texas students.